Hi guys, Simon here. Thanks for coming along, having a look. Uh, new subscribers, welcome. I hope you enjoy the channel. Hopefully a couple of days ago, you've seen the video with the Mama Sands and tricks in a go-go bar. So this is a follow-on to that with some information of Mama Sands in the beer bars. Now, not all beer bars have got Mama Sands. Sometimes it's the cashier in the smaller bars, um, or it could be one of the bar girls, the lead bar girl, maybe a slightly older girl, maybe she's chubby, maybe she's very noisy usually and just pushing for lady drinks. So you have to work out who's the one in the, in the bar that's gonna give you the information you need if you want. Now my bar, the Mama Sand looks after the girls. She supervises all the girls. She has a black book, let's call it a black book. When the girls come on shift at the beginning of the shift, she'll like school, little register, tick off their names. And the shift say in my bar was five in the afternoon till close, two in the morning. Girls were expected to work six shifts a week and providing they turned up six shifts a week, they'd get their basic salary. Now in a bar, beer bar, I've mentioned before, the girls used to get 3,000 baht a month salary, plus the lady drinks, plus kick back off the bar fines, and then they get money off the customers. The Mama San in my bar, Frozen, was on 14,000 baht. Quite often the Mama Sans are on about eight or 10,000 baht. Can you bar fine a Mama San? Keep asking me this question. Some bars, yes. It's down to money. It's down to what you want to pay. But you can get a Mama San and bar fine them. Definitely at the end of the shift, you can bar fine them. Or if you can get a phone number after the shift. Magic Black Book. Now, imagine you could see in that book, that book tells the Mama San how many lady drinks the girls have had in a shift, in a week, in a month. It also says how many bar fines. Now, if you were looking for a girl that you had your eye on and you wanted her as a girlfriend, or maybe more, imagine if you could get that information, a bit of background on her. Well, you can, and it's money. I saw a guy do this with Frozen. He paid her a thousand baht and she gave him the numbers of a girl he was inquiring about for a month or two, how many times she'd been bar fined. That gave the guy a good insight. The girl he was looking at was only once or twice a month. She was really quiet and shy and just more interested in just getting lady drinks. So that helped him make his mind up. If you can get that information out of a Mama Sam, it will help you. Um, the Mama San also knows if, like for instance, you wanted Apple out of my bar, the top girl, she knows that Apple's always out, but she'll also tell you what time Apple will come and clock in. And if you go there and Apple's not there, the Mama San will tell you she's back in a day, a week, a month, whatever. Buy the Mama San drink, you're getting information. Um, but that black book, priceless priceless gave me all the data i needed some of the girls weren't getting bar fined so as the bar manager the bar would pay we'd get them nice clothes we'd get them out to go and buy some nice dresses smarten them up then they start getting bar fined it's amazing what a red dress will do for a lady <laughs> the mama's hand like the go-go bar will also score you when you come through the door She's, um, like Apple used to, score, all the girls score you, but Apple was instant she could score you. The Mama Sound would look in more detail probably, um, because if Apple has sort of looked at her, now nah, I'm not interested, the Mama Sound's job was to try and work out which girl would be a chance of putting with the guy. Again, like the go-go bar, Frozen used to get a kickback off the girls. Not as much, I think Apple gave her maybe 500 baht for a good customer, and the girls maybe 100 baht, but added up over a month. Mama Sam would definitely look at fingernails, smell, aftershave, deodorant, whatever. Labels on your clothes, um, whether it's made in Thailand, 
and you're a cheap Charlie and you've just bought a cheap knockoff shirt, watches. Frozen could spot a replica watch like I can. You can spot them. The shoes, the hair, whether you shave, close shaved or not. Um, general hygiene. If you are a, a guy that takes care of yourself on how you look, you're going up the scoring list and you're going to have more chance of getting the better girls. So, again, Mama's hand, kick back. Not as much or anything as like the go-go bars. That's huge money in the go-go bars. But it is similar. The lady drink system, a couple of people have asked. Um, the way it worked, we used to have a book, like a raffle book. Two numbers are the same. Cashier would write the girl's name on the back of both tickets, give one to the girl and put one on a spike under the desk. Uh, end of the night, add them all up. Mama Sam would then take the notes of the lady drinks, put it in her black book. If uh, we had problems with girls as well, Mama Sam would be little black marks in the book. That black book also contained the girl's ID copy and information which part of the country they were from and all the rest of it. So if you have got a girl out of a beer bar and you're not, you don't think she, maybe she's telling you the whole truth but you want to go further with that girl, Mama San, get in that book. I'm sure every Mama San has one. I'm sure every one of them will open the book for X amount of bars. So there you go. Just a couple of little things on the beer bar. Going forward, let's talk about the work permits. A lot of you have asked me. My information, yes, when I was manager back in 2000, 2002, I was offered a work permit from the Thai owners. It would have been easy to get, but I didn't bother because no one cared in those days. Nowadays, it's a lot stricter. You can get a work permit as a bar owner, manager. I think it's under the lines of something like a sales and marketing manager. One of my close friends in Hua Hin has had a bar there for oh, t over 10 years. He has his work permit up on the wall uh, and I saw it last time I was there so it's still current. Costs and how you get it I don't know. Maybe some of you guys can comment below. But if you get a work permit you've got a different visa. So um, is it a business visa? Again you guys pop in information. But it enables you to get a longer visa. Uh, with the work permit you still won't be allowed, allowed to go behind the bar uh, okay if you're closed and you shut us down you can go behind the bar but when the bars open you're not allowed behind the bar even with a work permit I might be wrong but I'm pretty sure I'm right but if I'm wrong guys tell me everything behind the bar is a Thai person's it's the barman's domain and the cashier so you'll always see the owner or the manager floating around the bar, outside somewhere the bar, usually out of sight at the back, if they're good. If you talk to the bar owner, bar manager, can they get their hands on the Mamasan's book? Yeah, it'll be a kickback to both of them. So if someone offered me a thousand baht, I'd have given 500 to Frozen, and I'd have kept 500, and I'd have got the book. So yeah, you can do it that way as well. There we go, so just a couple of little bits and pieces today. I'm going to do a, a video f on bars, the beer bars, that why they're failing, why they're losing money, what's going on. And quite a lot of those are usually a foreigners come to Thailand, got a girlfriend, decided to buy a bar so he can get a visa, married the girl, marriage visa, or business visa, work permit but the bars fail and they lose money. Why, what's going on? So I'm gonna give you some examples on a video, what I think's going wrong there, another interest. A lot of you are asking for medical visa, about the medical um, and insurance, etc. in Thailand. I haven't never had medical insurance in Thailand. I've always had travel insurance. When I get there, I will be getting a package deal from a hospital near to my house and the package is about four or five hundred pound a year and it covers everything even for the top hospitals in Bangkok uh, and it's with a 
large, I think it's a Swiss company, but these medical centers do different packages and it's up to you how much you want to cover, how much you want to pay. Uh, but until I get there, I actually physically do it. There's no point in me doing a video on that because I could be totally wrong. But when I get over there and do that, we'll do a video on all that. I think Kevin Thailand recently did one, so it might be worth popping over and having a quick look at his channel uh, on the one he did. He did an MOT, medical MOT, and uh, a package and some prices, so have a look there. Right, see you soon. Bye.